We have reports from Paris that Diana, Princess of Wales, has been killed in a car accident and that her partner, Dodie Fired, has also been killed. They were apparently being pursued by paparazzi on two motorcycles. Confirmation from our very own Foreign Secretary, Robin Cook, who's uh, in the Far East at the moment, that Diana, Princess of Wales... Good evening. The princess who spent her life in the relentless glare of the public eye died in a speeding car in Paris, apparently trying to evade pursuing photographers. Her body was brought home today under a cloudy English sky. It was a silent, sad ceremony at an Air Force base outside London. Prince Charles accompanied the coffin, draped in the royal family's flag, on the flight from Paris. Diana was killed there early today in a car crash along with companion Dodi al Fayed and a chauffeur. Buckingham Palace said funeral plans are expected to be announced tomorrow. essence of compassion, of duty, of style, of beauty. All over the world, she was a symbol of selfless humanity, a standard bearer for the rights of the truly downtrodden, a very British girl who's con who transcended nality, someone with a natural nobility who was classless and who proved in the last year that she needed no royal title to continue to generate her particular brand of magic, the lives. Without your God-given sensitivity, we would be immersed in greater ignorance at the anguish of AIDS and HIVs, the plight of the homeless, the isolation of lepers, the random destruction of landmines. Diana explained to me once that it was her innermost feelings of suffering it that possible for her to connect with her constituency of the rejected. And here we come to another truth about her. For all the status, the glamour, the applause, Diana remained throughout a very insecure person at heart, almost childlike in her desire to do good for others so she could release herself from deep feelings of unworthiness of which her eating disorders were merely a symptom. The world sensed this part of her character and cherished her for her vulnerability whilst admiring her for her honesty. Looking for a new direction in her life at this time, she talked endlessly of getting away from England, mainly because of the treatment that she received at the hands of the newspapers. I don't think she ever understood why her genuinely good intentions were sneered at by the media, why there appeared to be a permanent effort her heart to bring her down. It is baffling. My own and only explanation is that genuine good is threatening to those at the opposite end of the moral spectrum. It is a point to remember that of all the ironies about Diana, perhaps the greatest, a girl given the name of the ancient goddess of hunting, was, in the end, the most hunted person of the modern age.
Imagine the legacy of a woman so impactful, so full of compassion, that her memory continues to inspire and uplift generations even decades after her passing. That woman is Princess Diana, and today her spirit of kindness, compassion, and empowerment lives on through the young people who receive the Diana Award, a symbol of hope, courage, and leadership. It all began with a vision in 1999, just two years after the tragic loss of Princess Diana, her legacy was set in stone through the creation of the Diana Award. The award was established to honor her belief that young people have the power to change the world. Diana often referred to as the people's princess was more than just a royal figure. She was a tireless advocate for the underprivileged, the voiceless, and the vulnerable. The Diana Award was created to carry on this work, celebrating young changemakers who exhibit the same qualities Diana championed, kindness, bravery, and a fierce determination to make the world a better place. What started as a small initiative to honor the memory of a beloved princess has since evolved into one of the most prestigious accolades for young people worldwide. The Diana Award honors individuals aged 9 to 25 who are driving positive change in their communities and beyond them. Today, it's more than just an award. It's certainly a movement. These young people aren't just recipients of an accolade. They are ambassadors for change, driven by the same values that guided Diana throughout her life. The award recognizes young people in four key categories, humanitarian work, community action, young leadership, and anti-bullying. The anti-bullying program, for example, is one of the most powerful initiatives born from the Diana Award, encouraging young people to lead the way in creating safe, inclusive environments where everyone is accepted. It's initiatives like, like, like this that remind us of Diana's empathy for those who needed a voice. Prince Harry has always been a fierce protector of his mother's memory and good for him. And this involvement with the Diana Award is one of the ways he continues to keep her legacy alive. Since his early adulthood, Prince Harry has supported the Diana Awards mission, attending ceremonies, mentoring young leaders, and sharing his mother's passion for humanitarian work. In recent years, Prince Harry has personally handed out the awards, meeting the young recipients who uh, represent the future of social change. He often speaks of his mother's influence on his life, and he has made it clear that this award holds a special place in his heart this year's ceremonies are being held in New York, and Prince Harry is there. He already has given his first um, panel discussion with two of the recipients of the Diana Award at the summit, at the Concordia Summit in New York City. It was a fantastic panel, fantastic conversation. Future, and to create long lasting change. Young people have the talent passion and insight to be the change that they want to see in the world. I am a young youth volunteer in my community. I'm empowering young people from across the world in advancing the UN's sustainable development goals. I'm raising awareness to mental health. I campaign for all children to be taught to read and write regardless of their educational level. That's why we are working together 
to empower young people to make positive change. I want young people to be engaged at the local, national and global level. I want to advocate for young girls and teenagers. I want to make an impact and be a part of the solution that will help change the world around us. I believe that mental health should be taken as seriously as physical health. Prioritizing health care to treat the whole person, not just the disease. I want to see people like me making the decisions that affect me. Especially when our future is at stake. We are your present. And listening to our voice is the most powerful way to affect change from the bottom up. Join us in creating a future forward world. Because our future is safest in the hands of those who will live it. Here is where the heart of the Diana Award shines. Let me share a story about a past recipient. Anika created an app, Change It's Normal, which tackles the knowledge gap in puberty by providing reliable, personalized information to teenagers. Motivated by observing their older friends, emotional teenage behavior and their parents' silence on the subject, Anika devoted four months of um, ideation, problem solving, design, and coding to develop the app. It features a chatbot, an information library, an emotion-based game, and a platform for connecting with peers facing similar issues, offering inspiration, expert advice, and more. With users across more than 40 countries, the app has received positive reviews and accolades, including the grand prize in the Technovision Girls competition, highlighting its impact and success. This is the kind of impact the Diana Award fosters, empowering young people to become leaders and change makers in their own right. Like many charitable organizations, the Diana Award has faced its share of challenges. One of the key criticism is the sheer volume of nominations. Each year, the Diana Award receives thousands of submissions, making it difficult to give each nominee the personalized attention they deserve. As the award's popularity has grown, so has the pressure to maintain its personal touch um, while scaling operations. Additionally, there have been occasional concerns about the financial sustainability of the organization as it relies heavily on funding efforts um, and corporate uh, partnerships. However, the organization has been transparent about its finances and remains committed to uh, expanding its reach through strategic planning. Looking ahead, the future of the Diana Award is, is bright. With Prince Harry's continued involvement, the organization plans to expand its membership programs, provide more anti-bullying training, and increase the number of young people recognized each year. The award's mission to empower young change makers has never been more relevant, especially in a world where youth voices are leading global movements for climate change action, social justice, and mental health advocacy. The ripple effect of the Diana Award will continue to grow just as Princess Diana's legacy continues to inspire new generations. As we celebrate the work of the Diana Award, we invite you to become part of this journey. Whether you are nominating a young leader, spreading the word about this initiative, or offering your support, 
you have the power to help shape the future of our world. In the words of Prince Harry, let's build a world where young people are celebrated, empowered, and supported to change the world.